Okay, let's build a voltage divider circuit and see what happens when we connect it to a power supply. So a voltage divider is basically a two resistor uh, circuit where two resistors are connected in series. So imagine this connection right here. So I have two resistors right here. I'm going to connect them in series. So they are connected in series. One side of the resistor is connected to power supply. So here, so I'm going to connect this red wire from here. So this will be our power wire going here. And the other one will connect to, so that'll make, we'll make that wire red. And then the other wire will go from the negative side of the power supply to the other end. Here, so let me make that black. So I have power supply providing power to a series resistor network. And let me grab a multimeter and place it right here. So let me uh, bring that up here. So what I want to do is I want to measure the voltage across this resistor right here. So I'm going to put the positive right here and the negative right here. So that's a red wire because that's measuring the positive side. And here we have the black. Right, so I'm going to measure the voltage. So let me turn this on. So let me start the simulation. So I have five volts here, power supply. I have two equal valued resistor. So, uh, so I have a one kilo ohm resistor on the top, a one kilo ohm resistor in the bottom. And what I find is if I measure the voltage across this bottom resistor, I get two and a half volts. Now, the two resistors are connected in series. That means the total of five volts is between. So now if I remove this wire right here, let me stop the simulation, remove that wire, and measure across both these resistors. So this wire right now, this voltage right now, is across both these resistors because the probe that I'm, use, I'm using to measure the voltage, one side is on the top end of the, re the first resistor and the other one is on the bottom end of the first resistor. So if I start the simulation, I should see 5 volt input and a 5 volt output. Now if I measure the voltage across the second the top resistor right here, I should see 2.5 volts. Okay. If I measure the voltage as I had started out earlier uh, and measure the voltage across the bottom resistor, what I see is that the 5 volt divides equally. So the 5 volt is dividing equally between the top and the bottom resistor. And I see 2.5 volt on the bottom, 2.5 volt on the top. Now the reason it's dividing equally is because the total resistance on the top and the total resistance down here is identical. So let's do this. Let's make this bottom resistor exactly two times more resistive. So as soon as I put that, now what happened? So if I put one kilo ohm resistor there, so when this was one kilo ohm, so notice this, this is what I'm changing right now. So that property of the resistor is one kilo ohm. So one kilo ohm, one kilo ohm, the total voltage that was across this was exactly one half of the total. Now if I increase this, double this, so if I double this, now what I have in the circuit is a total of two kilo ohm resistor in the bottom, a one kilo ohm resistor in the top, so a total of three kilo ohm resistor in series. Two thirds of that voltage is being dumped right here. One third of that voltage is going to be dumped right here on the top resistor. The total voltage is five volts, so two thirds of five volts is 3.3 .3 volts, and that's what we're seeing here. Okay, so if I measure, make this two times as more resistive as that, I'll see two times as more voltage right here. Now, what if I make this 10 times more resistive, so 10 kilo ohm. So I should see that the voltage across this will be 10 times that. So uh, let's see, 10. So I see that the majority of the voltage is being dropped right here. So let me stop the simulation. In fact, let me add another multimeter that just measures the voltage across the top resistor. So I've added a oops, sorry. So I've added a multimeter that measures just the voltage across the top. So I see the bottom is getting is 10 kilo ohm. The top is 1 kilo ohm. So the bottom gets more voltage than the top. More of the voltage divided on the bottom than it is on the top. Let me change the bottom one to 9 kilo ohms so that we can get a nice number. 
So the bottom is 9 kilo ohm, the top is 1 kilo ohm. So the total resistance is 10 kilo ohm in this uh, 1 kilo ohm here and 9 kilo ohm makes a total of 10 kilo ohm. So 9 kilo ohm in the bottom means 90% of that resistance exists right here. So that means 90% of that voltage is going down on this resistor network right here. So that is the concept of voltage division. A voltage divider is essentially a two resistor network like this, two resistors in series, a voltage supply on one end of the resistor, a ground on the other, and we measure the voltage either across the top or the bottom, and the voltage divides with a formula which says whichever resistor I'm measuring the voltage of. So if I'm measuring the bottom one, it's that resistance divided by the total resistance in series. If I'm measuring across this, then it's that resistance divided by the total resistance series times the input voltage that's being divided. Okay, so that's the concept of voltage divider, and that's what we'll use to work with this photoresistor.